Hello friends, it's Alina. And in this video, we are going to be talking about five things you need to know about the February 2021 new moon in Aquarius. So if that's something that interests you, then let's get started. What's up y'all, welcome back for another video. Woo, oh my goodness, it feels like I blinked and it went from the full moon that we talked about just a few weeks ago to now this new moon. We've got Mercury retrograde also in Aquarius right now, but if you are here watching this, we are talking all things new moon in Aquarius happening February 11th, depending on your time zone. And this new moon falling on this fixed air sign of Aquarius is very forward thinking, bringing in a lot of potent energy, specifically because of the Aquarius stellium happening right now where we have over six planets in the sign of Aquarius right now, um, which is really going to superpower or just kind of amplify the effects of this new moon. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about it, then let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, why is this new moon so significant? We have to just acknowledge and get out of the way in case you already know about it. We are going through an Aquarius stellium, like I mentioned before, where we have over six astral bodies in the sign of Aquarius, that including this new moon, the sun, Saturn, Mercury, Jupiter, and Venus. <laughs> Plus there's a Mercury retrograde going on right now, which we will dive into in a little bit. The last time we had this level of Aquarian influence was back in the 60s, which was right around the time of the sort of hippie counterculture movement. So it'll be really interesting to see what comes forward with all of this energy. Like I mentioned in previous videos, this whole Aquarian sort of energetic movement all started at the Great Conjunction back in December of 2020 on December 21st in the sign of Aquarius. So there's a lot of progressive, collaborative, innovative, forward thinking and just free thinking energy going into this new moon, going into the Mercury retrograde and a lot that is to come for the rest of the year really. And with new moons already being a time of setting intentions, um, holding space for the opportunity of brand new starts, starting over, starting new, it's really interesting to see that we're getting this fresh, innovative energy to kind of help us look at our goals, maybe the ones that we started at the new year, from a more fresh perspective and really potentially utilize it in brand new ways. The biggest message I'm getting to share with y'all during this new moon is that quote that you've probably heard before and it's the definition of insanity is doing something the same way over and over again and expecting different results. This Aquarius new moon, this opportunity for new starts, it doesn't matter if you fell down before, if you said the wrong thing before, any of those things. Now is a potent time to try to look at different perspectives of how you're trying to improve yourself. Maybe you're trying to find a different job. Maybe you're trying to, you know, improve relationships begin new relationships, um, start a new job, create a new business, start a creative endeavor, maybe community-based, any of these things. What I'm really getting is that this Aquarius energy is really gonna help you to look at it in a more creative way. And so a few ways that you can do this is if you haven't already, try to make a vision board, see how it would visually look for you to obtain or achieve the things that you are setting your intentions for during this new moon. Maybe ask a friend, collaborate, asking a loved ones what their perspectives are on the things that you're looking to do. It's always helpful to ask for advice from people who have been where you want to go or people who are in the same industry or understand the the area that you are focusing on for sure. Now we are already in the midst of a retrograde, the winter 2021 retrograde happening right now in the sign of Aquarius. How fun. If you want to dive deeper into the topic of Mercury retrograde for this year, I highly recommend checking out my other video where I dive deep into five things that you need to know, which will be linked in the description or in the corners of this video. But this Mercury retrograde, generally speaking, will likely throw us a little off kilter. You might be already feeling this energy. And luckily we're almost 10 days away from it ending, which is really great. This is the time to to back up your laptop, your memory cards, you know, really invest in iCloud, Dropbox, um, all of the different services that can really protect your work and your ideas. 
With Aquarius really being the sign of sharing free flowing information, that being primarily online um, through word of mouth, community conversation, you really wanna make sure that you're getting your points across very clearly. I just stuttered as I was trying to say that. Um, and so like I said, definitely check out my Mercury retrograde video as I dive deeper into how that can impact us and how to maintain some relevance of balance during this time. As well, during this month of February and near this new moon, we have Venus and Jupiter coming together and really bringing in some good luck in our love life and financial life. So be sure to set some goals in those areas as well. This specifically can look like meditating on how it will look like and feel like to get that partner that you're hoping to manifest in your love life, or maybe get that business partner that you're hoping to manifest in the more financial spaces. How will it feel when you are settled into your brand new home, when you're settled in, or when you have that promotion, when you get that raise, when you build upon your business to really foster and bring forward in the physical world what is already in your heart, which is that level of abundance. By the way, if you're somebody who enjoys tracking, planning ahead when it comes to astrological events, moon phases, and really writing out, fleshing out what your goals are um, on a monthly basis, weekly basis, and really fleshing it out into actionable steps, I highly recommend checking out my creation, the R-Align Astrology Planner. The R-Align Astrology Planner is a planner with dedicated full and new moon ritual pages and notifications for every astrological event going on in 2021 and next creating community equality and social programs during a time like this or getting into one that is pre-existing or just collaborating in some way that can help your community is something that is going to be so incredibly supported at a time like this. You can already see it culturally, um, especially in the US and Western nations, this more of a focus on how can we help one another? How can we help our communities? Right now, any type of, if you're getting any type of inclination, vision, inspiration, having to do with expanding your perspective outside of just where you are, I all I can I just feel called to remind you don't forget to ask for help don't be afraid to ask for help remember that this new era is all about collaboration there are so many people out there that are likely going to be so inspired by your ideas and maybe you're the one who feels inspired by somebody else's idea don't be afraid to say hey can I collaborate with you hey can I get in on this and see what they have to say again with it being at mercury retrograde be sure to be careful with your words ask follow-up questions and have the intention of clarity and empathy as we communicate with new people during this time. Next, I feel really called to remind y'all that your uniqueness is your super power. We are seeing this sort of amalgamation, I guess, is like, for lack of a better word, of, you know, features on social media, features in, in movies and television and magazines of this, you know, these beauty standards that are out there with the face filters and all these things. When it comes to looks, when it comes to ideas, when it comes to business, when it comes to family, don't be afraid to double down on your uniqueness. That is your superpower. Um, and in this new age of Aquarius, in this new moon in Aquarius as well, we are, everyone is way more receptive and open and just kind of thirsty for something different and you are different literally just by you being yourself so i just want to remind you that this is such a powerful and potent time to stand openly with who you are and just i'm telling y'all lean into your uniqueness all right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, but if you enjoyed this video, if you made it to the end, please comment if you've already been feeling any of this Aquarius new moon energy, or if you've been feeling any of the Mercury retrograde energy. I have a follow-up video on that in the description you can check out. And if you don't feel like commenting that, please comment three light bulb emojis, because that will let me know that you made it to the end of the video. It'll let the YouTube algorithm know, the powers that be, uh, know that you, uh, you know, enjoy content like this. And things like that is what helps me, a small but growing creator, continue to grow. I can say for myself, I have already experienced two major things having to do with this Mercury retrograde that were noticeable anyway. I went on a road trip coming home from my parents' house who are out of state. The, you know, Google Maps went all over the place. It delayed me by over an hour and I've never experienced that before. It was telling me that there were car accidents in the road ahead, but there were no car accidents, that there were slowdowns, but there weren't slowdowns. It was really weird. Also, I wrote the entire outline for this video first thing in the morning and 
it didn't save. Even though it always automatically saves. Oh my gosh. Anyway, with all of that said, I will finish this with my favorite quote, and that is, be gentle with yourself because life is about the journey and not the destination. All right, bye friends.